In the early days, running a beef cattle operation in northern Australia was very challenging due largely to the unsuitability of cattle for North Australia's unique environment. Almost solely of British origin, the cattle struggled to survive, let alone thrive in the harsh conditions. The arrival of cattle ticks from Asia in the late 1800s was the trigger for several commercial cattlemen to start developing a breed suitable for the northern Australian environment. Initially they crossed their breeders with zebu bulls, followed by many years of crossbreeding and careful selection of the progeny. A type of animal evolved, about half Bos taurus, half Bos indicus. In the early stages, due to limited communications of the day, the pioneer breeders conducted their development individually, but eventually they became aware of each other and collaborated in ongoing development of the breed type that was given the name Drought Master. Initially, Beef Master was the preferred name, but they were too late. A patent had been taken out in USA to secure the rights to the use of that name. The pioneers maintained their vision despite being criticised and ostracised by many people in their own communities. They never wavered from their path and along the way won over a number of converts to the drought master breed. Three preferences were maintained during the evolution period with those with black cattle forming the Branga Society in 1961 and those who preferred bawly faced cattle took the Braford prefix and drought masters of red cattle chose drought master. In July 1962 the drought master breeders launched their own breed society at a meeting held at the historic Queen's Hotel Townsville as a representative body and is now celebrating 50 years of service to its members. From humble beginnings in the mid-1900s, the breed has gone on to become one of the leading breeds in Australia and the second most influential breed in Northern Australia. Loyalty and dedication of the staff, directors and members has seen the society prosper and forge ahead while many other societies have waned or dissolved. The current financially sound position of the Drought Master Stud Breeders Society will enable the breed to continue to increase its influence in the Australian beef cattle industry and expand into overseas markets. The performance of cattle in the paddock and in hoof and hook carcass competitions has created strong popularity among commercial breeders, which has seen the Drought Master become one of rural Australia's greatest success stories. Please enjoy the following brief pictorial journey of our last 50 years.